Well, the Orlando area is famous for its theme parks and their performing arts, but we're also home to a robust culinary scene. So many restaurants to choose from, and pretty soon an annual event will spotlight our dining scene for a good cause. Yes, Visit Orlando's Magical Dining Month is back. It's extended mm -hmm, and yes. tastier than ever. <laughs> VP of Communications at Visit Orlando, Denise Spiegel, is here. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. It's the best time of the year. I really mean, is. I think we get a little too excited, <laughs> but I think you're excited too. Of course. Because it just I love keeps it. expanding, yes, right? Of course. This is the 18th year of the program. So what it is, we've got three course menus at more than 130 restaurants all over the Orlando area. There are restaurants offering $40 or $60 menus, every type of food, every type of area. So a lot of options to choose from. Now, this is the first year we've had the two-tier price. Mm -hmm. So you were explaining earlier that that just allows you to expand even more. Absolutely. We've grown so much as a dining community here. So it gives a big range for what you can check out as a diner. And the, and the charity aspect is really important, too. So for the $40 menu, $1 goes to charity. The $60 menu, $2 goes to charity. Very nice. And when we're talking about, I mean, the type of restaurants, if someone's new to, to Central Florida, I mean, what's the range of restaurants, I mean, and, and locations as well? Absolutely. So steakhouses are always very mm -hmm. popular, from your traditional American steakhouse to the Brazilian steakhouse. Sushi is another one that's really popular. Fusion restaurants, Italian, you name it, it's in the program, and it's all over. So there's Lake Nona, Winter Park, Maitland, the tourism area by Disney, Lake Buena Vista. So you can filter on OrlandoMagicalDining.com by the area of town or the type of cuisine, vegan, vegetarian. You okay. can select all those options to find the perfect choice for you. It makes it like a scavenger hunt of you know for foodies because... <laughs> Even if you're indecisive, this sort of helps you narrow it down a little yeah. bit better, too. Definitely. And you see the menus. When you go mm. and you select the restaurant, you can you know beforehand what, they, what they're offering. There are people in our office that make Excel spreadsheets and really <laughs> plan out so they get all their favorite ones. But you make sure you make reservations early. Okay. And you mentioned the charity aspect. This year, that is going to the Lifeboat Project. Tell us about that. Absolutely. So the Lifeboat Project is a wonderful organization that focuses on um, helping survivors of human trafficking. Mm. So they um, provide mental health counseling, resources. They also do training in the hospitality industry, airport workers, hotel oh, yeah. workers, to educate them on signs to look out for to prevent future. And so what would you say is like for someone who's just starting, you know, what, what would you say is the best strategy of, of, of going about <laughs> it? Should you go by location? Should you maybe like go outside your, your bubble, you know, your, your main zip code that you always, all the restaurants you normally go to? Well, go to the website, orlandomagicaldining.com mm -hmm. and just play around on the site and, and look by area. Maybe start in your area, see what's close, because I think you can discover something even in your little bubble that's right. new yeah. to you. <laughs> Or, you know, you can also think about a staycation. There are hotels. Yes. There's more than two dozen hotels that are offering deals. Some of them have the magical dining menu at their restaurant within that offer. Others are doing like a rate off, like 20% off, like the Lake Nona Wave Hotel or the oh, Swan nice. and Dolphin. Oh, yeah. So you can make a big foodie weekend out of it or just nice. go out for dinner. That yeah, so that's really part of magical nights, right? Correct. That's right. And so, you know, with that price spread, some people are like, oh, the price has gone up. But, I mean, this really allowed you to really expand the program and, and make more offerings, right? Absolutely. So the $40 has been $40 for a little while. And the $60 just gives more options for people. So you can splurge and do the $60. But you're getting a great deal because it's not $60 as the regular price. It's still a discounted menu. So you can go to a little maybe of a fancier yeah. restaurant and you're still getting a good deal. Have you made your list? I was just about to ask you. Oh, <laughs> man, it's long. I don't know if I can get it all in. I know, I'm the restaurants now, and so we're talking about, what, 45 magical nights. 45, <laughs> this is a 45-night event, right? Yes, it runs okay. from August 18th, so it starts tomorrow, okay, goes to October 1st. You got to pack it in. Yeah, yeah there'd be yeah. no way to do them all. But. I mean, you, you're really good at it. I mean, Bridget, I would love to Bridget's see someone do it, it but yeah. it's pretty impossible. Yeah, but, yeah. It, it is exciting. So if we want to get in on this, we need to book the reservation in advance. Mm -hmm. And what are the dates again so everyone, you know, gets in before it's over? Starts tomorrow, August 18th, and runs through October 1st. All okay. right. Well, we got to get to making those lists. I know. My, my stomach's really growling. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you so much.